today a pencil review. Hello again. If you've watched many videos at all on my channel, you'll know that I kind of have a thing for pencils. And there are lots of brightly colored, uh, gaudily painted, pleasing to the eye pencils being manufactured all around the world. And I'm fans of a lot of those. But there's something that draws me to a plain wood pencil, and it always has. So today we're going to look at one of those. Um, I have plenty of plain wood pencils in my embarrassingly large pencil collection uh, made by various companies here in America and Asia. Um, and they all are beautiful in their own way. Some of them have a lacquer finish on them. Some of them are completely bare uh, with no lacquer at all. Um, some of them are no longer being manufactured, like the Blackfeet Indian uh, pencil among them. Um, some of them have been manufactured for a very long time and are still excellent pencils, like the Bugle, also a Musgrave product. Uh, but just always been attracted to natural wood pencils. Uh, it's the pencils basically saying, I don't have to be shiny and nicely painted to be awesome. Um, so today we're looking at a new, as far as I can tell, a new product from Musgrave. And Musgrave has really been increasing at least their market presence and really upping their game and getting fine products out there. And I was discussing this kind of briefly in the comment section of Always Analog, which is my favorite pencil reviewing channel. Yes, there is such a thing. And he's the best at it. So... If you're not subscribed to Always Analog and you like pencils, shame on you. Go ahead and go do that right now and come back because uh, he does a great job. Uh, anyway, I was discussing in the comment section on one of his videos recently that I think Musgrave is kind of um, sneaking into the empty spot left when CW Pencil Enterprise closed up shop. That was a kind of a boutique pencil-related uh, almost entirely pencil-related shop in uh, in New York that closed up shop after maybe a four- or five-year run. Um, I think they closed up at the end of 2021. But they were kind of the go-to place for pencil snobs and pencil aficionados to get pencils from all around the world to try out new things. And um, the CW and CW Pencil Enterprise was Carolyn Weaver, and she was a marketing genius when it came to marketing pencils, which you have to be, right, to, to make a store like that work, at least for a short time. Um, anyway, so when, when that store closed, it seemed about that time that Musgrave Pencils started really uh, increasing their presence online. I've been seeing a lot of their ads on Facebook, for instance, which maybe that's just me. Maybe that just means Mark Zuckerberg is really paying attention to what kinds of things I like. But regardless, um, their products are worth the attention. So, uh, made in Tennessee, right here in America. And a lot of their pencils are made from genuine uh, cedar. Uh, they have some high-end pencils. They have uh, your everyday school pencils and uh, a wide variety. Some of the Musgrave pencils, as I've said before, are among my very favorite pencils of all time. Um, kind of going to admit a little fanboyism here. I actually have a t-shirt designed after the Bugle pencil, which I may or may not include as a pick here. I Actually, I probably won't. Um, maybe another time. But so, what we have here is a new offering, as I said, from Musgrave. And uh, let's take a look at it. So, as I've said, uh, this is a, a new product, I believe, from Musgrave. And uh, as far as I can tell, it is also their cheapest per pencil pencil. I think right now they're, as of this moment, they're only selling them in, in a box of, I think, five dozen. Um, I don't know if that'll change again, but the last I saw on their site, but you end up paying, if I figured it out right, somewhere between 20 and 30 cents a pencil, which, uh, you know, is pretty cheap as far as pencils go. 
one other thing to note uh, for Musgrave pencils, they their prices have increased along with their kind of market presence, but they're not up there in uh, Palomino, Blackwing, or Japanese pencil, you know, territory. They're still a very reasonably priced product. So, but that has changed recently in terms of they have, they've gone up a little bit. Anyway, so what we have here is a bear pencil that is not advertised as cedar, so I'm reasonably sure it is not cedar, uh, but it has a really lovely grain. Here's one example of it. It has some gouge marks from my sharpener, but you can see the visibility of the grain in this pencil. Uh, not cedar. You don't smell the cedar when you sharpen it, but it sharpens really nicely. There's no lacquer, no finish at all on it. It's uh, sanded, but not completely smooth. You can feel a little bit of the wood texture under your fingers here. And it's very simply adorned with just the Musgrave logo, the M inside the diamond, Musgrave Pencil Company, and number two. And that is all that is on the pencil. It has this kind of a light gold ferrule crimped on and a white eraser. Uh, just kind of a simple classic look that I rather like. Uh, so let's, uh, they do come factory sharpened, but I'm going to see how they sharpen with a couple of sharpeners that I have nearby here. Okay, got my paper towel down so I don't make a mess. And this is an Apsara sharpener, a long point. That's a fine sharpener. And with a good wood, you get a nice ribbon when you sharpen. So I'm curious how this is going to do. It's holding together somewhat. You don't smell the cedar again, so I'm reasonably sure it's not. But I do not know what kind of wood this is. The website doesn't say, and nothing on the packaging says. I think I just snapped the tip. No? Still going. So you get a little of the splintery, powdery type of wood coming off, which I'm a little bit surprised because it looks like such a nice wood. Which... Focusing on that. That's not a bad point from that sharpener. And I'm going to say that sharpened up pretty well for a cheap disposable sharpener. Let's try it with another. I'm not going to do this on camera, but I'm going to use this deli sharpener that I've shown before. It puts all the metallic teeth marks in my pencils that I've sharpened with this. So I'm going to try it in this and see how it does. And just as you'd expect, beautiful job from that deli sharpener. A little more smooth on the wood finish there. You can see the teeth marks, perhaps. But uh, sharpened very nicely. Now you can tell that I went a little overboard in sharpening the one with the handheld Apsara sharpener. I thought that had an automatic stop, and it clearly doesn't, so I ate a little bit of precious pencil graphite and wood, which is a shame. Each of these pencils obviously has their own grain pattern because they're from different cuts of wood, uh, but just really beautiful without any shellac or anything at all. I'm going to try writing with it, and we'll wrap this up. Okay, and I always have to write at a funny angle because of this camera, so I'm not always this clumsy with writing. Pretty close, but not, not this clumsy. And I hope this doesn't snap at the angle I'm trying to write at. actually a 
very smooth graphite. I'm kind of surprised. It's not overly dark. It's in number two territory. Uh, but uh, smoother than I would have guessed. I would say probably just based on this little bit of writing, smoother than the Musgrave Bugle. Has a little tiny bit of scratch, which is okay. If you like feedback, this provides a little of that. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice pencil for, for their cheapest pencil. And I think a really attractive pencil that writes well and sharpens well. Uh, that's a no-brainer. I think that's going to go up in price pretty soon. I wonder, they didn't even bother, as far as I can tell, to name the pencil, which they have names for all of their pencils. So I'm not sure where this is fitting in in their marketing. If there's some reason, maybe it was some kind of limited run type thing with some uh, inventory they were trying to get rid of of slabs of wood, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with this wood. Certainly not with the graphite. Um didn't test the eraser out, but erasers on pencils are notoriously bad, and it wouldn't be a deal killer if it didn't work that well. That's about what you'd expect from a pencil top eraser. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's a buy. That is a thumbs up on that unnamed Musgrave number two. Uh, bare wood pencil. Um, Musgrave has a lot of fine offerings, and this is right there with them. Not sure why it's at the lower end. Not sure why it doesn't have a name, but uh, by any name, that's a fine pencil. Thanks for joining me for this little review. Maybe I'll see you here again next time.